Hey guys, how's it going today? Hope you all are having an awesome day today. So today we are going to finish up uh, working on barrel and then we are going to start working on the astronomic science pack. Um, but I just want to first note that I did finish up a few things. So I do uh, export rocket parts now and the capsule and I have a train that's set up to come and grab them when there are some. And then um, in the future, we'll have similar situations where we have a cargo landing pad that does the exact same thing. I also pulled in two more belts down here because the barrel was not making it all the way down to the end of the belt. Um, and I'm gonna keep an eye on the count of sand here. This sand, I think it's possible that it could overflow eventually, um, but I'm really not sure, because these are, you know, they're, it's 25% uh, that you get sand. So it's not every run that you get sand, so it's not guaranteed. Um, but we'll see how much we use in comparison to, um, you know, how much we're making. And if it turns out that we are making more, then we'll just turn this into a trash slot. I'm not going to turn it into a trash slot um, or drop sand off until I know one way or the other for sure. In the meantime, while I've been watching this, it has been increasing. Um, so, yeah. And then what is going on over here, huh? Oh, it looks like maybe I didn't hook up um, all of the molten barrel correctly so let's just quickly fix that um, so that it's not just two machines that are running that would be nice I thought it seemed kind of slow and it turns out that it was a little bit slow um, and then we can finish for, uh, speed moduling these almost almost very close um, but okay so that that'll definitely fix things so all of our uh, all of our casting machines are working now which is good news and um, all of our, well, I don't think all these were gonna work because I think we put in one too many, but that's okay. Um, so, but it, it, in any case, we are getting um, barrel ingots out and we are starting to fill up this train over here. So, oh, and they stack in hundreds, not fifties, nice. So this is, <clears throat> let's see, 100 is gonna turn into 10 plates, I think. So if we come over here, just to double check, Yep, so one ingot is 10 plates, so this is 1,000 plates. That's pretty cool. Um, and then this is also 1,000, so this is 4,000, 4, you know, 500-ish, plus, you know, whatever more is coming in. Um, but we are going to run over to the drop point, and then we'll, um, you know, this train will be running in the meantime. And we are going to... Um, work on actually turning these ingots into bar into barrels no into plates <clears throat> um, and I think that hmm, how should we do this how do you think we should do this so there are two options one is to just turn it into plates the other is to ship them up to outer space as ingots and turn them into plates up there now that might be good in one sense because you save um, space in your rocket but it also might be bad in another sense because then you have to do all that infrastructure up there but I'm pretty sure you can only speed module it yeah you can only speed module it anyways uh, <laughs> well it's only two machines that we're that we need right now in order to do this I think that we're gonna just do it right here Mm, that seems like a kind of a, a very greedy place to do it. Um, the reason I say greedy is because we have a lot of other stuff going on around here, and I just think that that would be kind of weird to do it here. Um, but you know, maybe it, maybe it's okay. Um, can we fit in? We cannot fit in. Oh, but we can do it here. Okay. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna do it. Okay. So let's. Put down a beacon. I think it. I think it'll be okay. If you guys disagree with me and you think that I should do this somewhere else, you should let me know in the comments below. Okay, barrel plates, and then we'll speed these up. And then, of course, we need to output them, and we're going to do that into passive providers. And the reason for that is, of course, because part of our condition, and we'll just let them fill up. That's fine. Um, part of our condition for uh, the rocket coming back from 
um, the asteroid belt is how many plates are in our network here. So if we come over here, we're just going to check and see how things are going. Okay, so we do not currently have a rocket over here. Okay, we do have some empty slots, which is good news, uh, so we can build a rocket. The question is, is why are we not sending this one? Uh, let's see. This is probably missing rocket parts. Yeah, it's missing rocket parts. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so as soon as we get rocket parts, we'll start going over there. <clears throat> okay, so um, these will continue to work, and I don't think we'll have any issues with that whatsoever. Um, so now we can start working on getting stuff up to outer space for these astronomic science packs. So let's take a look at this. So astronomic science packs, 20 beryllium plates, not a big deal, um, as we are already making that. Significant data, astronomic catalog, and astronomic insight, not to mention cold thermofluid. So right now, in outer space, I'm pretty sure we're only making cool thermofluid, not cold. So let's go check that out, just to confirm my suspicion. Um, here we go. So this is just making cool thermofluid. Yes. Okay. So we need to make cold thermofluid which is done here. It's done in hypercoolers, which I don't think we have yet. Um, and that takes cool, just cool thermal fluid, outputs warm thermal fluid and co uh, cold thermal fluid. Very cool. And then we have um, hypercooling as well, which we don't need to do just yet. We will have to do it at some point. Um, but, okay, so that's the thermal fluid part. So we just need some um, hypercoolers which are, okay, we have all that stuff up in outer space. The only thing that we, I generally forget are pumps. <clears throat> so I'm gonna grab a, a bunch of pumps here and I'm just gonna take them up to outer space um, just so that I um, never forget them in the future. This, we are missing a bunch of rocket sections. So I'm gonna turn this to manual uh, so that it doesn't leave us behind when we finally are ready to go up. Um, okay, what else do we need? <clears throat> we need significant data, but that is just insight. We need insight, but that is just a catalog. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for this, we need visible observation data, infrared, UV, and astrometric data. So for these, we need uh, observation frames. Um, and to make those observation frames, they are made right over here. So we can make uh, UV observation frames in a telescope, also with cold thermal fluid, same with visible and infrared observation frames. Now we need to make um, blank observation frames. So we can make it either with coal, glass, steel, and light oil, which I think is not quite as good as doing it with um, blank observation frames because this you get five out, this you get 10 out. Oh, and we can also, before I forget, before I forget, we can switch this recipe to using beryllium plates. Um, and so we'll get uh, more, we'll get more rocket pieces out. And so let's uh, switch this here and let's request like 50 or 50 beryllium plates on both of these. Um, so we're still waiting on cargo pods, which we're waiting on advanced circuits, and I'll figure all that out here shortly. But we're just trying to get sh make sure that we have everything that we need to go up to outer space. So um, up in outer space, I think we already have glass. Let's just double check our requests here. Um, oops. Okay, we do have glass. Okay, so we're good on that. Let's also request here a um, thousand beryllium plates, let's say. Okay very easy um, and then let's see we need what else do we need for this uh, coal which I don't think we have up in outer space and also light oil which I'm pretty sure we're not bringing light oil barrels we're bringing heavy oil barrels and petroleum barrels but not light oil barrels so let's bring light oil barrels uh, not dirty why would you why would you barrel dirty water answer me this question why would you barrel that I mean, I guess, actually, I don't have a good answer. I don't have a good answer. Um, okay, light oil. 
I cannot find it, so we're just going to search for it. Light oil, there it is. And let's bring 150 barrels, let's say, okay? So that's light oil barrels. And then what else do we need? What else do we need? Um, uh, we needed coal, that's it. So let's grab some coal. Let's grab, I don't know, 400 coal. And let's see what else these need. These visible observation frames, glass, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's everything for that. Um, we just need some telescopes then, and what do telescopes take? Okay, multi-spectral mirrors as well as low densities, glass, and space assembly machines. Okay, so we need to figure out multi-spectral mirrors. Multi-spectral mirrors. Well, we would love to do it with iridium, but we are not yet making any iridium. So we have to do it with this, which is steel, uh, heat shielding, glass, low density, lubricant, and chemical gel. Good lord. All right. Um, that is unfortunate, but okay. So I definitely think all this stuff needs glass. Let's increase this to 1200 glass. Okay. Uh, I think that that is good for now. Um, okay, so this is all of that. And then what else? These are made in astrometric facilities. So do we need to bring anything else up for the astrometrics facilities? Uh, we have advanced processing units, we have um, low densities, space assembly machines, electric motors. I think we're good on that. Um, and then these are done in research servers. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what we need for research servers. So we need processing units, steel beams, and space assembly machines. So we need a bunch more space assembling machines. So we're going to bring those up. Um, we also need a steel beams for those, it looks like. So we're just going to grab a couple stacks of steel beams. And let's actually increase this a bit more. Okay. Uh, so that's for research servers. Interesting, as I said. Um, okay, and then this is done in supercomputers, which we already have up in outer space. Very cool. Um, with blank... Uh, wait. These all take blank data cards. Okay, good. We already have blank data cards in outer space, so no worries on that. Um, and this takes these three, and then this takes all of them, okay? All right, I think that that is everything. So basically, yeah, so basically we just need to get up to outer space, and to do that, we need um, to finish this rocket. So I'm going to work on um, finishing this rocket, making sure everything is looking good in the base for that. And then uh, we are going to head up to outer space to work on this astronomic science. Okay, guys. So we are about ready to go. Um, but something that I want to note is when you start working with vulcanite and, you know, relying on imports from other planets, you do have to be very careful about the balance that you build with that. Because when you're using vulcanite to make um, pyroflux and pyroflux to make iron, copper, steel, and now a bunch of things, right? You're basically saying that I am going to get a rocket there and back before I use the amount of vulcanite that I'm bringing back, if that makes sense. So you have to build a balance. Otherwise, you could end up in a situation where you need pyroflux in order to make iron, copper, steel, all those kinds of things to make rocket parts to get the rocket back over there to get more vulcanite. And um, so you could end up in a very bad situation. And I actually was just very close to that. Um, I literally just went over to our Vulcanite planet um, because we had um, a bunch of Vulcanite that we were waiting on, um, but we didn't load it because we had loaded so much Immersite. And we don't really need as much Immersite as I've been bringing back. Um, so I still have a few things that I wanna do uh, in terms of Immersite to Vulcanite count and things like that, making sure that it's well balanced because we can bring a ton of Vulcanite back, but we need to be able to uh, also like regulate that amount as well. So with all of the buildings over here doing Pyroflux, we chew through, um, you know, like let's actually look at a production graph, okay? And let's look at Vulcanite. Check this out. 
in consumption for these vulcanite blocks, we went from consuming zero to chewing through 4,000 a minute um, for four minutes. So we chewed through roughly 16,000 vulcanite blocks in those four, four and a half minutes, whatever. Um, and we did make a bunch of pyroflux. So if you look at, uh, I actually have beaten fluids, right? If we look at pyroflux and we look at uh, 10 minutes, we made 189,000 pyroflux. So that's a you know an awesome amount. We definitely need to use that. But it's just, you need to build that balance because look at how much we consumed. We're, we've consumed 70,000 in those same 10 minutes. Um, so definitely need to be a little bit careful with those kinds of things. And I just wanted to note that um, because I know that you can end up in pretty bad situations. And we're also using pyroflux to do um, rocket fuel. So you need to, like, we're using Pyroflux for so many things um, that you do need to be careful with uh, with that. But getting this beryllium is actually helping our rocket um, section uh, count so well. It's actually awesome. Um, okay, so we are ready to go to outer space. And actually, you know what? I should do this. I think we have a ton of uh, big electric motors in outer space, but just in case, we're going to grab a bunch of extra ones. And uh, we're also going to just run over this belt here and grab a bunch of um, low density structures just because the amount of low density structures that we need for all these buildings is pretty incredible and so we might as well grab a bunch of those um, just to be safe so that way you know we can still be doing science at the same time and we're also going to grab one last thing which is we're going to grab another step a few stacks of these and then we are going to be off to work on our astronomic data and we're gonna say launch on green signal when fuelful and we should be able to go I think oh no we're waiting on rocket parts but I've already checked and we have plenty in outer space so we're gonna launch actually before we do that I don't want to be left behind in outer space we're gonna change this to no trigger okay okay now we're gonna launch <laughs> I've had that happen before where I get left behind and it's like well shoot and a safe landing thank goodness need some more of those in my life all right here we are so uh first steps first is um let's see how can we do this i think we can add another inserter like this um and this one will do <clears throat> uh let's see light oil barrels let's say so that's one of our new things we also need to do brilliant plates so we'll do that here and then, do we have anything else that's new? I don't think so. I think that that was everything. Yeah, yeah, I think that I think we're good. Um, so now we can start to work on um, actually doing this stuff. So let's come over here. Let us. Um, let's see. We have to craft a bunch of stuff first. So let's see what we need to craft. Uh, we need to craft some research servers. Let's throw these down here. Okay, so let's see what we can make in here. Can we make anything? We can make research server. And we need some blue chips, so we'll just steal some blue chips from over here. Thank you. All right, so we'll make, let's say, two research servers. I think we'll be good. This is just for, what is this for? The insight, I think? Yeah, that's just for the insight. I think that's fine. We just, we'll just need two for now. And in fact, I doubt we'll even need two. Um, we're not going for any insane signs per minute here or anything like that. Um, we do need some supercomputers, which I think I crafted a bunch of those last time I was up here. Let's also grab some things like undergrounds and space pipes and, ooh, we have a telescope, nice. Um, Let's drop, oh, I can usually do this up here. I usually throw a box down over here and throw all my other crap that I don't need into it. Just so that I, uh, just so that I um, can free up some inventory for other things that we need while we're up here. Um, okay, so we have plenty of those, da, da, da. Oh, we have a poop ton of electric motors up here. That's good to know. 
Uh, also, we can put steel in. Uh, not here, in here. Um, always good to do that. I should figure out a system to, to do this automatically, but whatever. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. So for this process, oh, we need hypercoolers, which I think we have to make in the space manufactory, and I did not see any space manufactories. We also got some supercomputers there, which is good. Um, but yeah, I didn't see any space manufactories. So I think we'll have to craft those. All right, that's fine. All right, so let's get to crafting some of this stuff. So space manufactory, we can do right here. Space manufactory, and we just need to turn it. There we go. Uh, we also need some heat shielding, which we've got some in here. All right, so let's grab one. Let's probably make three, I would say, or maybe four even. I think we're gonna run out of fast inserters. That's three. Uh, let's see, this takes eight fast inserters. Yeah, we'll do four, okay. All right, so now we've got four space manufactories, just in case for different things. Um, <clears throat> and then we can put down a space manufactory over this way go and in here we are going to make some tells Ooh, we can't make these can we oh right one of our other new things up here is coal and i didn't remember to bring any coal Ooh, that's pretty bad isn't it that is very bad because without coal we can't make these observation frames can we whoops all right uh well Am I, am I going crazy? I could have sworn I put coal in here. I did put coal in here. Do we already have coal up here? We do have coal up here. Thank the Lord Almighty. Oh my gosh. I literally was like, I wasn't seeing it in the requests, and I was sure that I had uh, requested it. So, thank goodness. Okay. So we can make some multispectral mirrors. Let's see. We can make this. Uh, it does need some fluids. Okay, let's see. We need chemical gel and we need lube. Okay, we're gonna grab a few lube barrels. Not too many. And we are gonna, I hope that it can be done in here. Multi-spectral mirrors. I don't think it can be done in here. Nope, okay, has to be done in here, which kind of sucks because this thing is huge. Fine, fine, fine. All right, let's come here. Let's go to, oops, I just saw it there. There, this is what we want. All right, we're gonna have the bots fill in this area over here for us because I would like to uh, put a space manufactory down. Um, thank you, bots. Here they're coming with a ton of space scaffolding, which is very nice of them, very considerate. And I hope that Dude, is that not even enough? That isn't even enough. Okay. Let's fill in some more. These things are just so big, you need like an insane amount of scaffold uh, to do anything. Okay, can I please fit this in here? Thank you. Okay. And this is gonna make multi-spectral mirrors. Eventually we'll have to automate these. Actually, do we need to automate them right now? No, no, we don't. Okay, uh, and then we can do a um, space assembly machine here for lube unbarreling. And we're just gonna put maybe one or two in here. We do I don't think we even need more than that. Okay. And this is not taking in chemical gel, unfortunately, so we're just gonna have to switch this out, I guess. Okay, there we go. And we need steel and glass, I guess, to finish this off. All right, steel, let's grab some steel. Let's grab some glass. And the nice thing is taking it out of those, it's gonna request it down on novice and it'll just get filled up again. All right, so we're gonna make a bunch of these
Uh, how many do we need for a telescope? Two. So this can make five telescopes. Uh, I think we need a few more than that. Let's make... Okay, we need more low densities already, even though I brought up that huge amount that I just picked up off the ground. They go very quickly up in space, that's for sure. Everything uses low densities. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, that's 17, 18, 19, 20. That should be enough, I think. Okay, so we're gonna pick... I can't even pick it all up. Nice. Okay, that's fine. Um, Let's get rid of the scrap and the lube barrels. We can just put into a lube unbarreling machine. There we go. That's fine. All right. And then we'll pick it up and almost almost can't even pick it all up. All right. Uh, let's get rid of coal. Coal, I guess. All right. There we go. Okay, so that is good for huh, that's good for telescopes so then we need to make some telescopes so let's do that so we can put this down here make some telescopes and we're just going to use up all these multi-spectral mirrors for that i don't think we need oh man are we going to use them all yeah let's just grab a bunch of low densities i suppose low densities Jeez, these things are nuts. Very expensive. Okay. 40 low densities. That's just so much, dude. Okay, that's six. Need more glass now. Goodness sakes. So many things. Uh, glass is in here, I think. Yeah, there's, there's glass. And also, these are not supposed to be over here. I don't know why they're over here. Is there anything else that's not supposed to be in here that I put in here inadvertently? I don't think so. Why are we not doing research right now? What are we waiting on? Optimization tech cards, maybe? And why are we waiting on optimization tech cards? No data, no lube. No lube because no barrels? Question mark? All right. I'm going to go run some barrels over there because it would be nice to... Maybe we should request even more barrels. Let's say, clearly we're hurting on lube barrels. Let's say uh, 200. We'll double the amount of lube barrels. Because it definitely seems like everything else is getting lube except for this. So we'll do that. Throw them in here. And hopefully that'll make some optimization tech cards um, for us. All right, and then we'll finish off uh, our last couple. Okay, I just need one more. Is that so much to ask? Is that so much to ask? Oh, and also, I set up a. Uh, I set up a. Uh, I'll show it here. Um, oops, I don't know what I'm doing. Over here on Salamene. I set up a little um, alert system to let me know if we were ever getting low on vulcanite. And, oh, it's it's uh, giving out warnings. So basically I'm reading the contents of the belt and if it was getting below a certain number, which I believe I set to five, I was gonna send this alert. And that is because this right here is almost empty and this is starting to run low. So we need to tap more vulcanite things over here at some point. So. That's just a reminder to me that I need to do that. Ah, this game, this this mod pack is crazy, dude. Okay, so those are all the telescopes um, that we need. We also need to do hypercoolers. So we need more freaking low densities. And you know what I'm thinking? Let's send this rocket down, actually. Um, and I'm sure another rocket will come and save us at some point. Uh, because I would like to get some more low density sent up here. And this has a bunch of rocket parts in, in it that uh, will be able to help out down there. So let's just grab a bunch of low densities. And yeah, also, I don't really need all of these beams. 
So let's get rid of these and grab more low densities. I just need low densities. Okay, we're out of low densities up here. Sweet. Okay. Alright, it's about to get interesting, folks. Um, okay. So, what else did we need? Uh, we need hypercoolers and astrometrics facilities. Alright, hypercoolers, let's do... Uh, we can do one more of them. Let's grab some space pipe while we're over here. Space pipe, there we go. And also, I have come up with a nice... I came up with that nice um, advanced uh, solar panel tile set. So we'll do that at some point here. All right, so that's three. No, stop it. All right, that's five hypercoolers. That's way more than we... That's six. Way more than we needed to make. Whoops. That's fine. Um, okay, so how are we going to do this? I did not leave, like, any room in here to do hypercooling or supercooling. Wonderful. I guess we'll do it out here. Okay, that's fine. And also, I have no space platform either. Wonderful. It's just, uh, it's always something out in space, you know? It's always something. And 400 is, like, literally nothing. Okay, what can we get rid of? Take my landfill, bots. Take it. And be gone with you. Okay. I also have no space belt. Okay, I can get rid of these pumps, though, because we already used up our pumps. And then I can grab a bunch of this stuff. Okay. Okay, good. Alright, so we're going to set up our uh, cooling operation here. All right, and thankfully, once you set this up, again, same as like the this other coolant, once you set it up, you don't have to worry about it again, but you do have to set it up the first time. So it can be a little bit tedious. All right, so let's, let's run out this direction. And dang, this is really running low over here. All right, so this is doing hypercooling, and it is going to take warm thermal fluid, and uh, it is going to take just, er, yeah, just the cool thermal fluid, I guess. Um, and then it's going to do, it's going to make the cool stuff. Um, all right, so let's put this pipe down here. And then we are going to do some undergrounds. Like so. All the way down here. And then we're going to just copy this, and we're going to paste it down like this. All right, so that's going to be the input and the output. And then we need to deal with one other output, which is uh, the warm stuff that it also makes as a byproduct. And we'll have to cycle that back into the system. Um, so we'll do it like this. OK, we'll just copy this, do it like this. Uh, like this, and then we're going to have to cut all of this and move it down, like this far, I think, because we have to move this one down, then two. Okay, there we go. And then this can go here, and I guess we'll have to do this as well. Let's... Do this pipe like this. I guess this doesn't work out very nicely with this uh, chemical gel pipe here, huh? That's fine. We'll just do underground like this, and we'll come out to this way, and then we'll do an underground pipe like or three this way, I guess. We'll do an underground pipe like that. Okay. All right, so that is all of it dealt with. Um, we, of course, need to finish these undergrounds, but that's no big deal. Okay. Did I have one more of these? I do have one more of them. I don't really want to put down one more of them. That's fine. We'll just uh, save it for when we do um, super or hyper cooling eventually. All right, so let's put these down. And these will not quite start working yet. Um, we need to hook up the inputs and outputs and stuff. Um, so there's one input. 
I guess that's the only input. And then this is going to go over here to go back into the system. Okay, that is everything. And now we are getting um, cold thermal fluid, which we are going to need for basically everything. Um, and of course, I got rid of literally all of my pumps. Um, so let's come here. And this is a nice little trick. We can just do this. And our bots will come build it. And all these should be working, which is good. And that should start everything working again. And then we will do this and we'll say when cold thermal fluid is less than 5,000, then it'll be working. I don't wanna use too much, too much stuff. And then we're gonna speed all these up um, cause they are kind of slow. go and of course we can do do I really want to do beacons on these two I think that's being a little bit greedy these are going pretty quickly as is I can't do prod mods can I okay just checking just checking I don't think you can do prod mods in any space buildings but okay so that is all of the cold thermal fluid that we were gonna make and that is what we need to do for this um, which means that I think that this is going to be where we're going to call it for the episode. We have basically all of the buildings that we need except for astrometrics facilities, which we can make very easily. Um, and we have almost all of the items that we need. We still do need to make some uh, blank observation frames, but those will be very simple. Um, but we have almost everything that we need to start at least building out the infrastructure to do um, to do this uh, astronomic science pack, and so once we get there, um, you know, we just have a few more, or to get there rather, we have only a few more things that we actually need to do. Um, so we're very close to that, um, but this has been, ended up being quite a long endeavor to get all this uh, stuff set up and get to where we're at now. Uh, so that's going to have to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like on the video and or subscribe to the channel to support me. And I will see you all on the next episode.